So this is a look that was inspired by a music video I saw called Anvil by Lorne. It's sort of a black and white manga slash comic book style. A couple of key things to note. One, it's super high contrast. It's black and white and that's it. No midtones. And the other thing worth noting is its unique line work that creates an outline around everything. What's unique is it's not just one color. In the white areas, there is a black outline. But in the black areas, there is a white outline. I haven't seen any other tutorials talking about this, so it took me a while to figure out how to recreate it. So, how do we recreate this? First, you're going to need some geometry. The effect works best with geometric shapes, so I suggest starting with something like buildings. So I'm going to quickly model a couple of buildings here. These are very simple, and once you get the hang of it, you can make dozens of these in no time. So once you have all your buildings modeled, you're going to want to mark all the edges you want to show up as line work. So just select all those edges, turn on freestyle, right click, and mark freestyle. Now you need a material. It's very simple. All you need is a diffusion shader, a shader to RGB, and a color ramp. Set the color ramp to constant and adjust the sliders until you get something you like. Also, for your light source, go with the sun lamp. You can adjust the angle for a ton of different looks. Now on to the line work. Turn on freestyle and set the thickness to 0.4. Then, under the Layers Properties, you'll find the Freestyle Settings. By default, you'll have one Freestyle Line Set, but you can actually add as many as you want. We're going to be using two. Name the first Line Set Black, and the second Line Set White. It is very important that the Black Line Set is on top, and you'll see why in just a second. With the Black Line Set selected, enable Edge Mark. Then, under Freestyle Line Style, you'll find the Color tab. By default, it is set to Black, so leave that alone. Now go under the Thickness tab, and set the Thickness to 5. The Black Line Set is now done. Now for the White. Select the white line set and enable edge mark, then change the color to white. And this time, set the thickness to 7. Now when you hit render, you get a black line set on top of a white line set. And because the black line set is thinner, you'll be able to see the white lines underneath. And because the materials only consist of black and white, you cannot see the black lines in the black areas. And you cannot see the white lines in the white areas. Thus creating the illusion that the black areas are outlined in white and the white areas are outlined in black. Now you're ready to create massive cities with flying ships and trains and giant outdated audio recording formats attached to buildings. One thing to note is the more complex the scene, the longer the render time. Eevee is fast, but complex line sets take quite a while to render. So you better have a computer that's up to the task.